morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, psychic medium and divine channeler. And this is your daily twin flame reading. Please bear in mind that as a rule, I tend to read where the divine masculine is at and the messages coming through from the divine masculine. In no way, shape or form am I saying that this journey is one-sided as I 100% know it isn't. So please do switch DM to DF if that resonates with your journey. Trust in your heart, always. It's a no card day. It's a go with whatever message is coming through from the Divine Masculine. I feel like there's a need there's sort of a very calm, sit back, reset energy going on today. And I feel like the angels, spirit, your divine masculine, well, the angels and spirit are guiding your divine masculine. You're probably feeling this energy too. Sit back, reset. Remember your purpose. Now this is an interesting one. I knew today's message was going to be different. But I trust them so so much and there is this sense of sort of veering off path veering off purpose feeling a little bit disconnected with all the chaos and all the working through what they've been working through And it's reconnecting with purpose, reconnecting with themselves, reconnecting with what they enjoy, what they're meant to be doing, what sets their heart alight. And I feel very much like they're being put into that energy today to reconnect with themselves, which in a way is reconnecting with you because you are one. And when you're losing your connection with yourself, you are losing your connection slightly with twin. Have you been feeling disconnected from your twin? I feel like many are saying yes. Maybe just not as aware of their feelings, their thoughts, where they're at. Focus on reconnecting with yourself. This is where you will find your connection with your twin. There has been many, many upheavals, hurdles to overcome. I want to say rivers to walk through, to battle. War seems to be a theme at the moment with them. Um, and there's been so much energy on dealing with all that outside other stuff. That connection has been lost. And now the spirit and the universe, angels, are creating that space to reconnect, to find oneself. To be. It's...
important. That this sort of, I want, it's almost like in the void, in this middle ground energy is gone through, is embraced because they need to sit back and reconnect with themselves. How are they feeling in this moment? How are they feeling of what's going on around them? How are they feeling about what is coming? What should they be doing? And the silence, the connection. Once they've to taken this time, you will feel them and you will feel the change within them. And this is a very temporary, a couple of days at most, stepping back, looking round, being, not even like sort of in that planning action energy, just surrendering so they can receive the answers they're needing. And you can receive yours. I suppose it's in the void of discovery, which is needed. Okay, beautiful. I'm looking forward to, forward to tomorrow's read. Thank you so very much for joining me. Please do me a massive favour, like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Enjoy this energy. Embrace it. Make the most of it for yourself.